Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. Sorry, did you call for a point of order, Councilman? It was a point of information, but that's okay. Go ahead, you can go ahead. I yeah. yield. All right, so what, what I was, I, I actually yield that point of information, but I would, if there are no other people in front of me, I would like to make a point yeah. on this topic. Yeah, Councilman Green uh, is teed up to speak. Well, I, I, didn't, I, yield? I okay. did want to acknowledge your... Um, House I, President, no Council Members, just can continue. Thank you. Um, one, one of the things about what uh, Majority Leader Parker talked about and in the meetings that we've had is communications. There's a lot being done, but it's not being documented as accurately in a way that gives other members in this body the degree of confidence that they need and should have. Um, and that is in part because there are other entities outside of government entities that have to report in that plan. There are uh, other entities doing that. And there are overlapping priorities, quite frankly. And what we found and what your leadership and I thank um, you for intervening in this uh, negotiations dialogue and joint plan is that we're looking at what we control within city government and what we can influence in the private sector and federal government. An example of that is the plan to work with private drugstores, CVS and Rite Aid. That is the overlapping plan. Internally, we're trying to move departments to make sure essential workers are vaccinated. People that work in our prisons, people that work in the police department, people that work in the fire department and teachers that are going back into classrooms. All of these aspects of a unified plan have to be put in one as a um, member, Majority Leader Parker stated, a matrix, a single point of information. And that's the difficulty that is before us because a lot of people are doing things, but if we don't coordinate and communicate those things, people assume the worst. Um, so I just wanna say um, that as district council people, which I appreciate the administration is doing, nobody knows your district, Mr. President, like you do. Access to transportation, different vulnerable populations that are being impacted. And all of those things are being considered by an administration that doesn't have a playbook that they can pull from and have to build and fly a plane in a pandemic at the same time. And I just wanna say as an observation, no, we don't have Fauci, like the nat national health director, but we do have Farley who is not perfect, but in my opinion, is striving to move things in the right direction. And at times, members of this body feel not fast enough, but this is not something we've done before. And we are trying to get it right. And I vouch for that. Thank you, Mr. President. 